They want to say MAGA is illegal. They want to make MAGA an extremist organization, and they want to say that MAGA has officially been defeated. Does this look defeated to you? Ladies and gentlemen, on this program, we are going to talk about MAGA rap, and we're going to show you this incredible truck from Forgiato Blow, the greatest MAGA rapper in America. Trump train this beast Trump 45 that's all day rapping Trump the long Whoa. way up the drain the swamp now it's gonna be hey what's up Patriots for Giada Blue special thanks to Benny Johnson for showing y'all the truck got big Trump 45 soon to be big Trump 47 then we come here to the back United we stand with Biden we fall iconic move here Trump coming with a stimulus check to everybody who hated him but they cashed that stimulus check definitely Right there, we got Trump. So the Bitcoin ties on there, B for blow, Forge Auto Blow. So that's part of my logo. So we got Trump coming in on a tank. I don't know if you can see it. Big Trump Rambo right here. Let's give you a short up. Let's bring my boy down. Let's see what it is. We got the Mayor Magaville on the side, me and Trump right there in the photo booth. Trump's coming back, baby. It's a Trump train. I'm gonna ride a train. It's a Trump train. Inside of the MAGA truck with Pochiato Blow. Yo, yo, what's up, man? You know what it is? We are trying to find our way up out of here. We got we're... Trump in the back, too. Oh, yeah. Trump in the back. We're in the public. Okay, so we're in the public's parking lot. And we got, we got Royce running in front, trying to avoid hitting the top of the parking garage. This is how close we are with the pipes on the truck. Oh man, if we make it out of here, if we make it out of here, it's gonna be a miracle. Oh my god. <laughs> we made it! We made it! After making it out of the parking ramp live, we drove around Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay is a dark blue city. It votes for Democrats. It's led by Democrats. And it still has mask mandates in some of its government buildings. But as we drove around this city, every stop and at every street corner, people honked and waved and knew Forgiato. His music, they were hollering at him and taking photos and selfies. Truly a magnificent feat inside of a dark blue Tampa. Is Donald Trump as unpopular as they say? Not in Tampa Bay. Okay, everyone, this is inside of what? Magamobile? Trump truck? What's Big it Trump called? Trump truck. Trump train. Big Trump. We're in the Trump train. Big Trump train. Okay. Where does the uh, Trump, where does Trump come from back there? Like, well, not, not like where does he come from, but like, what was the inspiration for the Trump mannequin? That really like takes it to the next level. I mean, yeah, it's I a mean, great truck, and then the Trump mannequin is like, okay, I now it's I, like I think, galaxy. I think brand. I'm showing I'm ultra mega before ultra mega. I found somebody that had these dolls online. I paid somebody a thousand dollars for this doll. What? <laughs> Trump, you owe me a thousand dollars. This doll has so many people that take pictures with me. It's like they can't. Everybody can't get a picture with Trump. So I feel like this is the closest thing to seeing Trump. I had two. So the first one I had um, was like six four. That's when I realized how tall Trump was. Cause you know he's a tall he's man. Tall dude, yeah. I didn't realize how tall he is until yeah. I met him in person. But that doll, I saw always be like, you know, why is this doll so tall? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Trump so size. I, I actually uh, did like a giveaway to some fans, and I gave that one away. Kept this one, but yeah, it's pretty funny. I didn't think somebody's mom was going to be my fan. We've already had a couple shout outs, a couple people, a couple people have honked, 
Sticker on your car, you holler at me, I give you a free tank. Take it out. All you gotta do is put this on your car. I'll fill your tank up. You got one. You got a Joe Biden sticker. And if he voted for Trump, I'm gonna get your gas. Why I get a search warrant? All it took was a subpoena. He just gave me 15 boxes and y'all still couldn't beat us. I got a message for the FBI. Let's go play. I got a message for the DJ. Let's go play. I got a message. My dog. All right, man. Uh, why was Donald Trump so popular in rap? He's a boss, period. Yeah. You know, he's Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? He's, Trump comes in the helicopter, we're pulling up in cars, you know what I'm saying? So thousands of rappers get to rap about Trump before he gets elected. And then after he becomes president, rappers like you, who rap about Trump, mm -hmm. gets completely deleted from social media. How's that happen? Doesn't go the narrative they're pushing. And that drives them crazy because whoa, whoa, whoa. You are a Kodai Black, you have face tattoos, you guys have gold teeth or whatever. You know, you live in a different life than what Donald Trump was living. You're not supposed to like Donald Trump. We're independent, doing this our own way. They hate to see me and Bryson and Tyson James, other rappers, get up on those charts. And, I mean, Bryson outsold Adele. Adele, all genres. It's very powerful what we're doing. We started something that's growing like crazy. People who come to me, I never liked rap before I go outside mar lago and all, there's, 70 year olds riding around bumping my music, 60 year olds bumping my music, and they're like, there he is, that's him. And I love it, because that's real America. What you got there? So this right here, I was telling you about my YouTube plaque. By the time I could hang it up, my YouTube is deleted. Millions and millions of views gone, hundreds of thousands of dollars I spent on shooting videos, running ads, building my brand up, wiped out. My YouTube probably would have been fine if I didn't get this. This made them look at my YouTube and see what this was about. Who is this guy? Let's check him out. You met Trump. What did you show him? Um, so I did like a little photo book with all the cool stuff that I was going to show him when I met him. And um, he signed a picture of the book. So when I opened the book up, I showed him like, you want to see what you have with face tattoos? It was the second picture. I showed him. He was like, oh my God. Then I showed him my truck. He signed it for me. And then when I went outside, Junior was there. He signed it for me again. I've seen Junior a few times. Um, it was just cool. Like I said, like when I met Trump, it was amazing because it made me want to keep fighting for him. Imagine fighting for somebody and then you meet them and it's like no love and they're just like, yeah. And it's like, I done spent like, I done lost sleep, hours, relationships, family, friends, businesses, social media accounts, hundreds of thousands of dollars, time. You know, our biggest thing can't give back is time. Just to fight for what I believe in, what you instilled for me to fight him. And when I met you, it made me want to go 10 times harder for you. That's great. Man, look at this. Whether you're a fan of rap, and more specifically MAGA rap, or not, there's no denying that Forgiato Blow is a true artist, a creator in the realist sense of the term. He suffers for his art. He has been banned, he has been deplatformed, and he has been excommunicated from the rap community for his support of Donald Trump. And isn't that what real artists should do? I mean, isn't that the point of being a creator? Is to push the boundaries, being a rebel, to push the norms of society? Forgiato Blow does that, and he does it bigly, he does it loudly, and he does it without remorse or apology. God bless this man and his big, beautiful MAGA truck.